Hey, what's going on guys? Muscle the Reverts here. Today I want to talk to you guys about the perk Sixth Sense and why I think it's the best tier 1 perk. And I also want to show you guys how you can render it completely useless. Now before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to Tabor Hill because he did some pretty interesting tests. And I want to show it to you guys. So on screen now is the range at which the indicator on the minimap will tell you that someone is nearby. And as you can see, it's a pretty long distance. But one thing I didn't know was when someone has triggered Sixth Sense, the distance for the indicator will actually increase by a little bit. So I'm going to have my friend back up. And as you can see, the range does increase by only a tiny bit it's not really anything to get overly excited about but it is something I was not aware of at the time now another thing I did not know was when someone is within the trigger area uh, you can see the little bar on the top of your screen right now on the minimap and that bar is going to tell you if someone is either above or below you depending where it is on the minimap and obviously if it's on top then that means someone is above you and if it's at the bottom then someone is below you and I myself just like Tabor Hill thought the bars for someone using the perk hardwired but what the majority of Call of Duty players didn't know was hardwired actually completely disables the sixth sense perk as you can see in the gameplay my friend is literally on top of me but since he has hardwired he doesn't appear on the minimap now i run six cents on all my custom classes because personally i feel it's the best tier one perk and i'll explain why in a second but i like to run six cents on all my custom classes and i remember getting killed and my six cents wouldn't trigger but i never really put two and two together like i had no idea that hardwired was the reason why uh six cents wouldn't trigger and it seems a lot of people didn't know that either and you guys do have every reason to believe that because in the perk description it says it reduces the digital imprint not completely cancel out and the developers really need to change that so uh, maybe in a couple updates here the text will change because it is a little confusing to me now the reason why I believe Sixth Sense is the best tier 1 perk is because I only saw use for Afterburn if I'm playing it extremely aggressive I never really saw a use for Blind Eye or Cold Blooded because I always ran with a teammate that would shoot down air support literally anything that's flying up in the air will go down in a second a uh, flak jacket would only benefit me for game modes like Domination Hardpoint or Safeguard and I didn't see use for Overclock because I don't rely heavily on my specialist in my gameplay and I do think Sixth Sense has a lot more universal use than any of the tier 1 perks in the game uh, until I found out that hardwired completely negates it so if you're playing a game of S&D and you notice someone is running 6 cents I just recommend switching to a class that has hardwired and now that guy's basically playing with one perk down so that's what I've been doing for a couple games now and it's a pretty good strategy guys but let me know your thoughts about the perks 6 cents and hardwired down in the comments again big shout out to Tabor Hill for the discovery go check him out if you haven't and thanks for helping me learn something new and I hope you guys did learn something new as well so uh, drop a like if you guys did enjoy thank you for watching I'm a vert have a great rest of the day till next time. I'll catch you guys later.